So I make sure that I cover the ball with my head and then from there I just turn and release through the ball. If you're having difficulty keeping your tee shots in play, then have a look at this video. I'm going to show you what I do to keep my balls in play uh, when playing a very, very narrow golf course. I've been in this golf club now for a year and the fairways are very narrow. There's lots of penalty areas, there's lots of out of bounds and I've just had to find a way so that I'm able to score better. Now the first thing I've done is play less with the driver. I only use the driver on one par five. For the rest of the time I play with my three wood. This is my new friend. This is the club that I believe in. Now I know a lot of golfers have a lot of respect for a three wood. The head looks so small but you know when I started playing golf 30 years ago this was a lot larger. This is a lot larger than those drivers. Okay and the plus points are this club is so much loft and the shaft is shorter than a driver shaft which will just give you a lot more control. Uh, what I'm going to show you is also applies to driver and to long iron so but I really think that you should give three wood a try. Okay so now in order to find the fairway I have to have a curvature to my ball flight. I, I definitely am not able to hit a straight ball every shot but when I have a curve, a draw or a fade then I'm able to reduce the possibilities. Now I always play a draw, a right left curve and that way I know that my ball cannot fly to the right. My ball is either going to fly straight or land somewhere to the left. That helps me because what I do is I aim to the right side of the fairway every time and during my swing this is what I do to produce this ball flight. I start with a slight movement, a slight lateral move away from the target. I find that important so that I can then transfer my weight towards the target. Okay so that's only slight and then at the top of the backswing, I start moving my body towards the ball again. I try and cover the ball. Now that's really important because if I can then start the downswing on plane and then swing my arms to the target, I'm going to automatically be hitting the ball from in to out which then causes a curve from right to left. Of course you need to have the club face, face straight. Now if my head had to be behind the ball too much or if my ball position is too far forward, I like to keep the ball almost opposite of my heart. Now let's say the ball's too far forward, then the club's automatically going to start to move to the left at some stage and I'm going to give the ball some right spin. So I make sure that I cover the ball with my head and then from there I just turn and release through the ball and I just know the ball is going to fly straight quite low as well with a curve to the left. Okay so give that technique a go. It's something that the pros do very regularly. And a slight, slight divot is absolutely fine. You can drive the ball low through the wind. And that's really how I have a high percentage of, of fairways under pressure. But it's taken time. I go on the golf course almost every night and I practice this same move. And I picture that ball flight. And I'm very, very careful um, with my alignment. Okay, so I hope one or two or three of those points help you to find more fairways.